I was going to ask a bit about the, that process and about being alone in the studio. Well, I'll start by describing my studio, which is a very big room with a glass roof and a white painted walls and a white painted floor, which over the years has acquired a lot of sort of indelible marks. But it's hard to work in the summer because it is so bright. I think you have to get up very early and work in the early evening and things like that. But being in it is utterly lonely. Being in that white room without anyone to talk to is quite demanding. And so I, I think, well, you know, it's um, time to go and have a cup of coffee or five minutes later it's time to go out again for a cup of coffee or I'll just go across the road to the British Museum or trouble with being in your studio is there's nowhere else to go. I haven't got a window I can look out of. I can't even see the clouds in the sky. And the loneliness is uh, something that I've never really got used to. There's always a wonderful moment, however, when finally I decide the picture's finished and then you think, well, less and less now, as I say, because time is getting short. I think, well, I've got to paint another one, or rather, it's not paint another one, finish another one. And being alone with your deadlines in your studio on the one hand, and alone with, um, for want of a better word, your muse, which keeps going away or disappearing around the next corner, um, it's not easy. The reason why they take so long is actually quite simple. And I think gradually they're taking less time after all these years. It's matching what you do physically with the feeling in your mind, or wherever, wherever the feeling is. And at long last that is beginning to sort of sort out a little more. <laughs>